Hi, thanks for watching. Here we are at Robert Yates 1990 Racing Team Shop. There is Yates team driver Davy Allison's number 28 Winston Cup Ford race car and hauler. Wait a second, what is Mark Martin's car doing in the Yates shop? He drives for Jack Roush. We'll get back to that. Another Texaco Havoline number 28 backup race car is snuggled up top in the hauler. Conveniently on the lower level are the tires, tools, and parts cabinets. Every racer's dream is to have a race car hauler like this beauty. Let's take a look at where Davy Allison took care of business. Hang with me, we'll get to Mark Martin driving a Davy Allison car in less than a minute. The hauler's race car lift. How about this haircut? Well, when I fired it, you know, I ain't never had one. Uh, let's see, Jake's wife cut my hair one time when I was thinking it was about 12. But the same guy that's cut my hair all my life is wearing a dry. Well, I fired it. I fell asleep the other day and woke up. I had it. Now, what's going on with Mark Martin's car here in the Yates shop? Although Jack Roush is a Ford expert, and years later in 2004 he joined forces with Robert Yates, forming the Roush Yates Engines Company, providing racing engines to many Ford racing teams. In 1990, they were competitors. But Roush Racing was only two years old when I took this video in November of 1990. Mark Martin was having difficulty during his Atlanta Super Speedway trials with all five of the Roush Racing team's race cars. So Ford Motor Company suggested they borrow one of Davy Allison's backup race cars. This highly unusual occurrence allowed Mark Martin to compete in the Atlanta Journal 500 on November 18th. So you are witnessing the only video of the Yates team getting their race car back from Mark Martin. Running a racing engine 500 miles flat out requires a complete rebuild. The Yates team discusses the condition of the Mark Martin, really Davy Allison, returned race car. Mark Martin finished 6th and Davy Allison finished 25th in the Atlanta Journal race, the last race of the 1990 NASCAR season. Davy led 13 laps but finished 7 laps down due to various problems. In the 1990 NASCAR Winston Cup Series, Mark Martin finished in second place behind Dale Earnhardt and Davey Allison placed 13th. Please read the description below this video for more information and links to the 1990 NASCAR season, Roush Racing, Yates Racing, Davey Allison, and Mark Martin. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exclusive videos you'll see no place else that show planes, trains, motorcycles, automobiles, and auto racing including NASCAR.